Thanks for Matchroom, first of all, and Sky Sports for having us on all the way from Australia. Um, the good thing about Michael, he comes into camp fit and he's only a couple of kilos overweight, so we can focus straight on the boxing with him and he comes into camp good spirits. He's come over here in great spirits. Uh, the English public have been awesome towards us. Listen, I know they think he's coming as an opponent because there's big fights ahead, but Michael's not an opponent. He's coming here to win, like Cal did against um, Sean Porter, he went to his backyard and he took the title. Cal Brooks' name is a world title to Michael, so we come to his backyard and we're doing the exact same thing. The perfect thing with Cal with this camp is he's happy and he wants, he's been dragging me out of bed at half past six in the morning. I've been wanting to lie and he's saying, get out, come on, we're going running, we're going to gym, we're doing this. He's, he's been there before me. So, somebody like Cal, as long as he's fat, as well, long as he's happy, he's dangerous, man. Like, dangerous. So, this, this camp, it couldn't have gone any better. And I'm looking for a very special performance on Saturday. Like, like Blakey said, this, his name's a world title to me. Um, so, no stone's been left unturned. Um, he's, he's just a man, you know what I mean? He's got two arms and a head and he bleeds red. Um, so, look, well, the best Michael Zaraf is going to be there. Um, and, and like I said, it's going to be, it's going to be a, a fireworks. One thing we know about you, you've got plenty of heart and you're prepared to go to the well in this fight. Is that what you're going to have to do in this fight? You believe you have to go to the well to beat Kel Brook on Saturday? Uh, look, you know, we've been obviously studying um, throughout our camp. Um, like I said, he's a great fighter, but, you know, we saw a lot of flaws. Um, you know, too many holes in a ship, it sinks. You know, I'm, to be honest with you, with no disrespect to you, I'm not interested what, what he's going to do. I know that I'm 100% and there's not going to be no man what can get in there Saturday night, what can deal with me. So I'm very happy, I'm very sharp, I'm very strong, I'm very explosive. So I'm looking to make a, I'm looking to, a, you know, put up serious performance on, and I'm looking to a, give all your guys an early Christmas present. I know that it wouldn't be a press conference without asking an Emmy a fan question. Um, we know that he's obviously still the fight, but at this stage in your career with this freshness, and this new mentality, it's basically any elite fighter you want, if you can beat Zarefa on Saturday. Any elite, I feel, I feel like a teenager again. You know, I could, I could weigh in at 147 tomorrow if I wanted. You know, I've got that buzz, I've got, I, I've got that buzz again. I'm, I've got many years left, I've got, I want to fight the top boys. Uh, Sean Porter's got WBC world title, he's there. If he wants to rematch there, Errol Spence, I would love to bring him back here in the summer. And, uh, and get the win because I'm, I'm an animal. Uh, you know, I feel reborn, like I said. I'm buzzing and Amir Khan is a con man. They should call him Amir Khan because he's a con man. He's, he's, had, he's mugged you off, Eddie. I feel, he's, had, I, he's mugged you off, you know, I think. Not yet. You, you know, he, this is his last fight, big fight. You know, under, under match room, I thought that this fight were nailed on. You know, he shook me and looked me dead in the eyes at Tony Bell's last fight, looked me dead in the eyes. And he said, we will fight next. What, what, what can I do? I've bent over about with I've, I've said that I'll come to 147. We've not even, we've not even talked about rehydration or anything like that because it's, it's never got to that, you know. First of all, we need him to come to the table and say, yes, it's on. Because I'm doing everything I can for the fans. You know, he's, he's turned his back on the fans. He keeps saying that I have. I think everybody knows that it's him what's running off. Well, <laughs> if, you, if, if you want my opinion, there's only one fight for Amir Khan, and that's what I've told him, and that's to fight you, and not fight anybody else. But that's another story. That stuff doesn't excite me. You know what I mean? I need to be in with people who is going to test me. And um, this French man is very experienced. He, I hope he is ready for the war because it was always love to go to war. And I have to say. I'm ready for anything, whether we want to box. I believe I have a little bit better boxing ability, hand speed, power, and then, as always, I love to go to war too, so I'm gonna drag him into all sorts of my boxing game. I'm looking to impress. I don't wanna just win this fight, I wanna impress. I wanna show Tevin Farmer with a little peanut head, I'm gonna eat him alive when his time comes. And uh, I, I truly believe the only person who can test me to the limits would be someone like um, Javante Davis, you know? Someone, that will be a dog for you. Me and him go head to head, and that will be a war, and then you'll see the true John O'Carroll going to war. But um, I have to say, Tevin Farmer is getting broke up. Mark my words, Tevin Farmer will not last 12 rounds. I guarantee every single person here 
I am gonna smash up Tevin Farmer. Tevin Farmer is a good fighter, but he ain't no Floyd Mayweather, and he tries to be like Adrian Brown on all these little Muppets. Trust me, he ain't nothing like them. Tevin Farmer is, he's a good fighter. I'm not gonna put him down too much because anyone who has won a world title is, in my eyes, that's where I wanna be. So I can't put his boxing ability down. He's a great fighter. There's plenty of holes there that I can see that I'm gonna poke him to bits. And I guarantee you, I break him up and break his head. Yeah, definitely, obviously, Dave knows only in tests, it's not putting me on the ring and just dominating people like I have been. Like, I've had eight fights without being cocky. I've been broke a sweat so far. It's all been easy, straightforward fights. So this lad's been at top level. Box World Champions, he's um, ranked 40 on box ref, much higher than me. So he's mixed at a much higher class. And um, this is the fight with a show what I'm about. I've got to be cool, calm, collected and um, do the job.